Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Claudia's Lovely Nails. Ah, yes, the ocean, the fresh air breeze, its beautiful sunset, the calming sounds of the crashing waves, and the feel of sand underfoot. Who doesn't like the ocean? Seriously, I haven't been to the beach in years and I can't wait to go back sometime soon. While well, I dream of going back, in a way, I'm going to bring the ocean to me. That's right, today I'm going to be doing ocean blue nails for the very first time using acrylics. I had this picture in my head and I tried to recreate it, but unfortunately, the nail did not turn out as I pictured. So. I'm going to show you a very quick video of how I unfortunately failed of conquering my ocean nails. So what I did was I applied falsies onto my natural nails because I was like, you know what, since I already have falsies, it's just going to help me so much more. Or so I thought it was making it easier for me. So I use some forms so I can extend the length of my nail. I want super long nails. This is my first time using formers and let me tell you that this stuff is really sticky to your skin. I don't know if it's just the former I use, if it's old and the sticky tuness was just too sticky. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, like I said, this is my first time using a nail form and this is a really helpful tool when it comes to the shape and length of the nail. For the acrylic application, I'm not much of an expert. I know that some people that are very like professionals and they do this every single day. They can do this full nail with just one bead, with just one bead. But I unfortunately am not yet at that phase. So I'm just gonna apply one bead at a time, taking my own time and pat them with this old brush that I should have not used. I plan, well, I plan to have acrylic encapsulated. I wanted a shimmering blue gold glitter, blue sparkles, and white tiny pearls underneath. That way when I encapsulate them with acrylic on top and draw the ocean, you can get a glimpse of the gold and blue glitter colors underneath. That was my vision of the ocean nails, but boy from here, it took a wrong turn. This is where it basically went downhill. And as you see, after I encapsulated it, I applied my desired ocean colors on top. But like I said, it was just too pigmented so that it hid the colors underneath, but I kept going. I blew into a straw to create waves at seashore, which, by the way, made a remarkable resemblance to waves. Then I added sea stars to top it all off. You know, it's not that bad. Okay, it might be just a tiny little bit bad, but overall, it, it, it's not hideous. It could be improved tremendously, but it's still pretty. So, with that said, I'm going to take note of what went wrong and learn from my mistakes. I know I can do better, and I really want to achieve what I have in mind, which is why I'm going to try again. All right, here we go. Take two. Hopefully this time is better. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. I applied these transparent clear nail tips because one, it's clear and I want my ocean nails to be kind of see-through, kind of. And two, well, I don't have to use the nail form since the nails are already long, so that's, that's a plus. So now I'm going to trim and file them. I know that there's a special, I know that there's special nail clippers, but I'm using what I have. Now that I have my nails ready, I'm going to start on my thumb and apply my first acrylic bead. I bought this new acrylic powder at Sally's and I'm not sure what was going on with it because it wouldn't stick to my brush. After applying my first bead, I just went ahead and used the acrylic that I've used before and it works perfectly fine. I'm not sure what was going on with the one at Sally's. Then I'm going to add these flakes and a golden shimmer. I'm going to use variation of the blue colors in order to imitate the ocean then i kind of just you know did my thing i added some colors wherever i felt needed this type of dark or light blue and just kind of went along with it
After using this light pink color on my tips to resemble the sand, I created waves arriving at seashore. I almost forgot to add white in there, you guys. White really makes a big difference and it's really important when you're doing ocean nails, obviously. So I added some sea stars, but I should have added those last and you'll see why in a second. I wanted to create foam, you know how waves, when they reach shore, bubbles form. Well, I wanted to create that. I brushed white polish and dumped bubbles from a mixture of soap and water. I saw someone do this and bubbles formed on their nails and for me, it just didn't work for me. Not sure what happened, which caused the sea star to lose the stickiness from the nail. So I just got rid of it. Put the white polish on the nail and blew into a straw to create that wave and that worked so much better. Then lastly, I encapsulated it. And after encapsulating it, I was gonna draw the ocean, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it as is. So yeah, moving on to my next pretty nail. Now this nail, it's going to resemble the deep, the deep dark sea that you don't know what is swimming in there, that you don't even wanna go near it. You want to avoid it at all costs. If you pass the deep, you might even find some pearls in the bottom. Maybe there's a slight possibility. Will you take that risk? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Like you saw, I did up adding some white beads and a bit of white color. I didn't want my nails to be entirely just dark. And lastly, I encapsulate the nail. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on to my middle finger, I'm going in with that same blue color. And this time I'm going to add a little bit more glitter. I need some more shine and shimmer to my nail. The purple glitter will honorably star in this nail design along with the green color. I believe it's called Frosty Caribbean, I believe. Perfect name for this video. You can't forget about the silver glitter. And to blend it all in, I'm going with blue and white strokes. I will encapsulate the nail later when I have the rest of my nails finished. Now I'm gonna do my pinky now. I skipped my ring finger because I want to save the best for last. Here from my pinky, I'm going pretty simple. An ombre moment going on, a light blue will gradually blend into this agua color. Then I'm going to mimic waves arriving at seashore. Again, ugh, my pinky is such a copycat. But this time I'm going to try recreate this foam bubble. I ain't giving up, you guys. Look, you guys, this is the foam bubbles I'm talking about. It worked. Thank goodness, all right. For my last and final nail, I'm going to throw you guys off a bit with the colors I'm choosing. Adding some yellow, purple, orange, and green, then outlining my nail with some black. I know right now you're like, what is this? How is this? How is this nail ocean nails? Well, let me tell you, I believe that at the very bottom of the sea, millions of beautiful, unknown, discovered creature or plants exist. No mankind has reached the very bottom of the deep blue sea. This nail is representing that. Once you reach the deep, you'll explore magnificent, vibrant things. Now that I gave my inspirational speech that unravels the purpose of this design, you see that blue color I'm applying? I combined a blue gel polish with glittery dipping powder. I still wanted to have that blue color the rest of the nails have, so it won't be too different, or so it won't be out of theme. Now what I have left is encapsulating the nail and filing them. Here are my nails filed with my hand. I seriously need to invest into some filing tools. I wonder if the filing tools, like the drills, if those create as much dust as using the hand files. I know dust is very harmful, but I sadly don't own a dust vacuum. But what's left now to do is the beautiful and captivating part, the top coat.
the end product i know that these came out pretty great i'm honestly obsessed with them let me know what you guys think down below and with that thanks so much for watching and that's it for the video Thank you guys so much for watching and marbles. Don't you think that they should subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that they're notified when I post a new video? <laughs> you see guys, he agrees. Thanks again and stay tuned for my next video.